A group of local college students joined the movement, literally biking across the state, to help spread the word about how to stop destruction of our planet due to global warming. Well, we are a program called New England Climate Summer. We are a group of college students. We've been bicycling around Massachusetts for the past seven weeks, visiting different communities um, and working with organizations and individuals to help build a movement to stop the climate crisis. I actually heard about New England Climate Summer doing um, doing uh, organizational work with, a, with the parent organization of New England Climate Center, which is um, Students for a Just and Stable Future, which is a, a student group that's present on about 40 college campuses in Massachusetts and Connecticut. And last year they led a legislative campaign that would have moved the state of Massachusetts towards having 100% of its sources of electricity clean by 2020, so within 10 years. And I got involved with that and had been working with that um, during the semester. We had a campaign, part of that campaign was sleeping out on the Boston Common. Um, we had like at one point we had over 250 students sleeping out on the Common in order to protest the fact that we had to live in homes and dorms powered by dirty electricity. So that kind of led me to spending my summer biking. Um, hearing about the campaign and being actually involved in planning this summer program. I'm an environmental studies concentrator at Brown University and for a while now I've been really interested and passionate about the human impacts on our natural world and on our environment, both in terms of how we can choose or not choose to live sustainably for our own survival, but also how we impact other species. And so for some time now I've been studying these issues in the classroom, but I haven't really taken on an active role and I haven't really filled the shoes of an activist going and talking to people about this issue outside of my university campus. So I got an email, um, you know, before the summer just with details about this amazing internship opportunity to bike across Massachusetts and work with local communities on this issue that I'm so passionate about and I thought to myself what better way to spend the summer. I'm physically active and I can you know be doing what I'm most interested in, in doing and talking about. Personally I think climate change is a really really important issue because um, not only will it affect the climate and the environment but it will also affect um, animals and human life on earth and the earth's ability to, to sustain life. Um, so if the temperatures rise enough um, there won't be that much clean water, there won't be that much food, and it'll turn into a very, very big social justice issue, and we're trying to prevent that from happening. And all the problems we have now, they'll just get worse if climate change happens. I decided to do something that I was passionate about, and all year long I've been working um, with the parent organization Students for a Just and Stable Future, and um, I decided to do Climate, climate Summer because it was just something that I really cared about. I know that the movement to stop the climate crisis is something that really, really needs help right now. The biking itself has been pretty humbling. Um, you know, we biked from Worcester, um, you know, at the beginning of the week, and that's a 50-mile trip. Um, it's not particularly flat. You know, I was, I was flat out dead by the end of it. It's hard work and it's humbling, you know. You think you're strong enough um, and you can do a lot of things, but you, you really get a sense of what your limits are. Um, and then in terms of like going out to, into communities and actually interacting with people and seeing, you know, tons of different people doing amazing work, right? And it's really humbling, you know. You go off of your college campus, you know, I'm a college student. Um, so you go off of your college campus and you see the work that's being done in communities and you really begin to appreciate them and the work they're doing, which is great, really great experience. Um, right now we're reaching a tipping point, um, which is there's a bunch of different natural systems that are interconnected and once we reach a certain point, um, the temperatures will rise substantially and we won't be able to turn back. And that'll happen. We have the chance to stop it in the next 10 years or so, but after that, um, I mean, we can't really do too much. So that's why right now it's really urgent. So even this generation, it's this generation's job to stop it. Some of the solutions to global warming help us economically, socially, um, rebuild our communities, and even if you don't believe in, global, believe in global warming or don't know as much about the issue or aren't as educated enough on the facts, I think that it's still something that you can latch onto as a way to revitalize some of our communities and our economies in, in these green technologies and in just, you know, switching to biking, for example, as a way to go to the grocery store. It's, you know, it's a wonderful thing for the planet, but it's also a wonderful thing for your own health and for the community that you live in. It's actually what we're really hoping for, is to get Massachusetts to become a leader in clean energy, because we do have so many resources, especially with wind and, um, 
and Tidal and Solar, um, and Massachusetts has typically been a leader in so many other social issues. I feel that you know the work that I'm doing is necessary. Um, you know, global climate change is probably the greatest, um, the greatest single threat to our lives, our communities, and all of our fundamental values that we're facing. Um, you know, and that's why I got, my, got on my bike, so we could do something about it and um, protect our communities and protect our families. Um, I'd say to get involved in any community organizations that are present or start a community organization um, and really just work with each other to try to stop climate change from happening. I hope people bike more, you know? It's been an amazing summer biking everywhere from town to town. We've traveled about 500 to 600 miles by bike, and I was not a biker before this summer, and I just, I feel so much better. I feel stronger, I feel more capable, I feel more able to take on challenges, and I hope that more people do it.